Hello everybody and welcome to the Race Anywhere YouTube channel for what's going to be the first ever Race Anywhere update video. Now this one's going to be a little bit different to the content you've been seeing on this channel to date because instead of looking at the wider world of sim racing, we're actually instead going to be taking a bit of a peek behind the curtain because for those of you who don't know, Race Anywhere isn't just a newly revised sim racing YouTube channel. We're actually a UK based sim racing hardware retailer and we specialize in high end performance and immersion oriented products. Now, despite being UK based, Race Anywhere does ship worldwide as well. And we actually have customers on every single continent on the globe, except for Antarctica. So if any of you are penguins, help us complete the set. Now with that in mind, you can understand that when we try and make videos on this channel about hardware for sim racing, it's a little bit more complicated than when we're making videos about games, for example, or other elements of sim racing, because we have a carefully curated catalogue of products at Race Anywhere. We don't just sell absolutely anything and everything in the sim racing space. So to avoid upsetting anyone or any potential conflicts of interest, when we do hardware videos on this channel, we're gonna be focusing on the products and brands that we actually work with and sell as part of the Race Anywhere catalog. If not, it just wouldn't be fair on you guys or our brand partners. And obviously this doesn't apply to games and stuff, but it does apply to hardware. So just bear that in mind. And don't worry, we're not gonna be reviewing products. So I'm not gonna be telling you how amazing all of our products are, because again, that just wouldn't be right. You can check other videos on YouTube and other sources for that sort of information. But in this video, I am gonna be running you through the products that we sell and some of the exciting additions to the Race Anywhere catalog that have come about recently. There will also be news of a giveaway coming up later in this video that I'm sure will interest many of you. So keep an eye out for that one. But before we get into all of that and the products themselves, let's give you a little bit of a Race Anywhere business update. So what's happening back at base in Daventry? Well, the big thing is we're actually gonna be moving soon to a brand new warehouse. Basically, as the business and the team continue to grow, the current warehouse is running at full capacity. So a move to a new HQ will alleviate some of the pressures on that and will benefit the company in many ways. First of all, there's gonna be more space for more demonstration rigs. So you guys can come along, say hello, and try out some of the products before you go and buy them. This is already something that Race Anywhere do, but there's gonna be more space for more demo rigs at base, so that's always good. This will also, of course, mean updates to the in-house kitchen, maybe even a staff room, and happy people filled with tea and coffee can only be a good thing. Now, I did mention the team was growing as well. There is, of course, me and this YouTube channel, which I'm very grateful to Martin and the team for handing me the keys to. And then recently, we've also had Dee and Kurt coming on board as well. Dee is focused on the customer support side of things, so you may have already spoken to her if you've been in touch recently via phone or email or Discord. And Kurt is gonna be managing the ever-growing fleet of demonstration and client rigs that we have at Race Anywhere. He's also a self-proclaimed sim racing addict like many of us, so I'm sure these guys will be a fantastic addition to the team. And as well as us Race Anywhere newbies, many of the existing team members have also taken on new roles recently, such as Aggie and Esther, for example. So things are certainly moving in the right direction, and hopefully that just means we can add and improve what we can offer you guys. So what about the products themselves? It's time for the big section of this video, the Race Anywhere catalog update. Firstly, we're gonna talk about some upcoming additions that have gotten everyone at Race Anywhere pretty excited recently. First up is the release of the Cubic System QSBT1, which is essentially a super powerful direct drive seatbelt tensioner. Now you may be wondering, why on earth would you want seatbelts on a sim racing rig? And it's all about immersion. I can understand why you would wonder that because I probably felt the same before I tried them. I've not tried these particular ones, by the way. I've tried other seatbelt tensioners. And because you can't actually replicate the G-forces and the movement of being in a real race car when you're in a sim rig, the seatbelt tensioners go a long way to essentially replicating that feeling through your body by pulling you into the chair. And it really does work. It is incredibly immersive. I'm told the QSBT1 uses two motors, just like those found in the Cubic System motion platforms. And a big splash has been made about the fact that this system is practically silent, so it could be ideal if you're someone who likes to stay up late doing some endurance racing without waking up the kids. Now the Race Anywhere demo rigs will be using these from May onwards, so make sure you keep an eye on the website and get in touch with Race Anywhere if you want to try these out for yourself. If you do that, you really like them, maybe you want to buy them, availability is estimated around about the middle of the year. So to find out more about these seatbelt tensioners, do also make sure you check out the Cubic Systems website because their product page will have all of the information you might need. 
A quick side note before I move on from Cubic System, I did mention their motion platforms earlier. Well, people have been struggling to get hold recently of the QS210. If you're one of those people, I have good news for you, they're going to be back in stock around about April. In fact, they might already be in stock by the time you see this video because it's already April. So as with everything in this video, and I will keep saying it, do keep an eye on the Race Anywhere website for further information. Now this next product isn't new to the Race Anywhere lineup, but it is proving to be extremely popular. It's the P1000 Haptic Pedal Reactor. I actually have a new one here in the box, Simagic PHPR. Now the big news here is that these are back in stock and in big numbers. So if you want to get your hands on one, this is probably the best opportunity you're going to have, so do it. Now if you don't know about this and you're wondering what it does, it's a haptic motor that you can install directly onto a pedal of your choice. This will give you feedback via vibration through the pedal in a situation of your choosing. So for me personally, for example, I like knowing when my ABS is actually activated in a race car. So I have it on my brake pedal and every time my ABS comes on, I get a vibration through the pedal. You can set the frequency and the strength to match your personal preference, so I use 35 hertz at 15%, for example. You can also, though, take things a little bit further with the use of SimHub. With this, you can adjust all sorts of extra settings, and that's actually making these haptic reactors very popular because they're so versatile. You can use them in any DIY projects where you want a haptic reactor. It doesn't have to be SimMagic pedals that you use them on, so get your hands on one. You're going back in the box for now, but probably not for long. On the subject of Symagic pedal related additions, we have another one that is actually new to the Race Anywhere catalogue. It's a hydraulic throttle system aptly called the PHTS and it is in stock and it is available. You've probably heard of a hydraulic brake pedal, but maybe not a hydraulic throttle. So what does this actually do? Well, in simple terms, it gives you more control over your throttle application. It provides a little bit more resistance than a standard spring setup. And of course, it gives you customization options so that you can adjust it to your personal preference in terms of the level of resistance. It also takes away the possibility of some squeaky sounds that you sometimes get from a spring setup as well. So this is probably most useful for someone with a bit of a heavy right foot that likes to spin up a rear wheel drive car on corner exit, for example. Now I should also be clear with this, this is a separate product to the P1000 hydraulic pedal set. You don't get hydraulic throttle with the hydraulic set. This is an independent product that you buy separately and then you essentially swap out the system. You don't get a new pedal with this system, you just get the hydraulic system itself and you swap this out with the spring system. Don't worry, it's very, very quick and easy to do from what I've seen. Now, moving on to something a bit less exciting for others, but for some people, this is the most important thing about any sim racing rig. Cable management solutions. Now there are two new different types of cable management solutions available on the Race Anywhere website from Pro Sim Rig. Now it's worth noting that because these Pro Sim Rig products come directly from the factory, prices are able to stay low because there is of course less links in the chain. And based on the customer feedback so far and the reviews, they're pretty high quality as well. So definitely something worth looking into if you like me, like your cable management, but like me also need to be better at actually executing it. Now, if you want to take your rig neatness another step further, ProSimRig are also offering brand new aluminium profile covers in a range of sizes, which are now available on the Race Anywhere website. These are powder coated black aluminium and they're full side covers rather than just a thin filler for the channels. So they're probably a little bit different from what you've seen before in this aspect, but they're going to be great for customization, being able to basically add stickers and color or whatever you like to your rig and give it your own personal touch. Let's briefly touch on bundles. Now there are always bundles available on the Race Anywhere website. It basically makes buying multiple products at the same time just that little bit cheaper. You can also get in touch with us via email to request specific bundles that you'd like to see on the Race Anywhere website. Just email sales at raceanywhere.co.uk. One specific example that I will mention because it's a limited time offer includes the combination of the Pro Sim Rig PSR3 that I'm sitting in right now, the SimuCube 2 Sport wheelbase and the direct drive mount, as well as the SimuCube Valo GT23 steering wheel with integrated quick release. Now this bundle may or may not still be available by the time you watch this video, in fact by the time this video goes live, so just make sure you check out the Race Anywhere website before you get too excited. A quick note on the Valo GT23 wheel, this is actually a brand new product, even though you may have heard of this last year. It was announced in November, but SimuCube just wanted to make some final improvements and tweaks before giving it the green light, so despite it being April 2024, this is still a brand new steering wheel and it's well worth looking into. 
Now, just before we finish up, a couple more quick points that are worth noting. Something that should be back in stock soon, although we don't have a specific time frame for this yet, is the ProSim Rig PSR1 in black. These have been super popular this year and have sold out. More are being produced though, so don't worry, you'll be able to get your hands on one very soon if you've been wanting to. We also have the Heusinkveld MagShift if you're looking for a high quality and adjustable sequential shifter and a new updated wheel in the form of the Cube Controls GTX2. Now there are plenty of reviews on YouTube for this wheel if you're interested in finding out a little bit more information and these should be available if they're not already available at some point within April. One final reminder, make sure you keep an eye on the newly added section of the Race Anywhere website to keep up to date with all of these products as well as anything that's going to be coming in the near future. So hopefully I've brought you up to date on the Race Anywhere catalog, but I also said earlier there was going to be some news of an upcoming giveaway. Race Anywhere are soon going to be giving away some sim racing products. We've got a couple of monitor stands, we've got some accessories, we even have an aluminium profile rig for you guys. So if you want to hear all about that giveaway, how you can get involved, how you can enter and how you can win, there's going to be a video coming on that at some point in the near future on this Race Anywhere YouTube channel. So basically what I'm saying is subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and then you won't miss the exciting giveaway. Now if you've been watching the videos to date on this Race Anywhere YouTube channel, you'll have probably noticed that we're using a lot of Race Anywhere products on this sim racing rig. So I thought as part of this update video, I would give you a little bit of an idea of the actual products that I'm using. So the most recent addition has been the Simagic Alpha wheelbase, which I've been loving so far. And I've also, to go with it, got the Simagic FX steering wheel. Plenty of buttons on there, not the one with the screen, it's not the FX Pro, um, but it's got dual clutch, Flappy paddles, plenty of high quality rotary encoders, and I have to say I'm loving it so far. Something you won't normally see in the videos are the pedals, and just to let you know, I'm using the Simagic P1000 pedals, and I'm hoping to do some content covering this and the wheelbase as well in some separate videos in the future. I'm using the two pedal hydraulic setup with the hydraulic brake, not the hydraulic throttle, but uh, I'd be keen to try that at some point. I've also got the haptic pedal reactor, of course, that I mentioned earlier, on the brake pedal, which has been a lot of fun to get used to. Completing the set of Simagic driving controls, I have got the DX8X shifter on there as well, which can be switched between sequential mode and H-pattern mode. So you'll see me in some videos using an H-pattern shifter, some using a sequential, and then others, of course, using the paddles on the steering wheel. And then, of course, there is the rig itself. This is the Pro Sim Rig PSR3 that I'm using, and I have to say I'm really, really enjoying it so far. And hopefully, you're enjoying the content on this Race Anywhere channel. I've been loving making the videos so far. I've been really enjoying the equipment as well. Just as a side note, if you want to keep up to date with the equipment that's on the rig at any given time, because we will be trialing new products as they become available just to see what they're like, you can find out the information in the description below. It'll have links to the products that are used. And that is gonna be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful or informative or just benefiting you in some tangible way. Do make sure you let us know down in the comments what you thought and if you've got any thoughts on the products that have just been added to the Race Anywhere catalog or some of the existing products. We'd love to hear from you whether you're an existing customer, potentially a future customer, or you just love sim racing. You will of course find us on all of the normal social media channels, the website which I've plugged about a hundred times where you'll find out all of the latest information. For me personally, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you for the reception so far, for the support with the Race Anywhere content. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying filming it. If you have suggestions for future videos, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. And then of course, subscribe to the channel so that if we end up making them, you don't miss them. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great week.